there's something wrong with me. And I feel like I keep trying to create these moments of catharsis where it's like, I'll finally be better, you know, like I'll make this beautiful thing and that will push me over this edge of numbness and I'll start to be able to flourish again. Like I feel like there's a threshold that I have to hit to get rid of this feeling and that's worked before, but it doesn't seem to be working anymore and it's, it's frustrating. I used to go to therapy all the time. They diagnosed me with complex post-traumatic stress disorder as a result of childhood social abandonment from my peers and sexual assault in college. And um, I thought that made sense and I, I guess it did and it might still, I don't know, but there's definitely something else wrong and it, it wasn't there before. And it might have always been there. It might have always been there just right below the surface. But I'm mad at myself because my life has never been so good, but I can't enjoy it and I can't feel it. I can't feel it. Even right now, like I'm crying, but I don't feel that in my chest. I don't feel the sadness. It's just like I'm mimicking it because it's what is appropriate I it's not it's not intentional I'm not saying oh I should cry but normally you know when you cry you feel something and I don't feel anything and I don't feel anything when I laugh and I don't feel anything ever I had a moment a couple weeks ago over the the Atlantic Ocean in a plane and I felt joy for just a minute and it was so good and there was no reason like I was just laying there it, I was laying there trying to sleep and I looked up at the no smoking sign and I was just like happy because I was the farthest away from home I'd ever been and that made me think of that Lord of the Rings moment when Frodo and Sam are leaving the Shire and I just felt so much joy and I I don't know if that was adventure that made me feel that way or if it was excitement I but I felt it in my chest I could feel that emotion and it had been so long and it it hasn't it's still been it's been a while <laughs> I can't believe that I am this way and, and on one hand it's I know I shouldn't feel guilty because this is not my fault that I can't feel that anymore or or like there must be something that I, that is wrong chemically there must be something out of my control that's what I keep on trying to tell myself is this is out of my control it's not your fault but then why do I feel so fucking guilty why do I feel like it's my fault that I can't feel anything and that I'm so empty why do I feel that way is it because there is literally nothing stopping me from skyrocketing to success and like fame and whatever. Like I know it's right in front of me and it used to be the one thing that I would strive for was that glory. <laughs> and now I just want to feel something and I can't even do that. I feel like I'm losing you. I feel like I'm losing the bread squad, the little buns. I feel like bread mom is dead. I feel like when I was 19 years old, I took on that maternal figure role because I knew I could handle it. And I, I thought I will be a mom to those kids that don't have a mom anymore because they did, you know, were disowned or 
their mom doesn't want to understand them or whatever. I thought, okay, I can do that. I had experience with kids. I had experience with that struggle and I thought, okay, I can do that. And I did for years, for like two years, three years, I was that. And now I feel like the mom from the Baba Duke because I feel like I'm being suffocated. And how can I help somebody if I need help? And I'm not getting it and I'm not trying to get it. What does that say about me as like a maternal figure, as a mom, as a role model? When I was a really little, not really little, when I was like a preteen, young teenager, I had a moment where I was suicidal but I got help quickly and I don't I don't know how that occurred I was just very lucky and I was fine and now as an adult I'd almost forgotten what that felt like and when it came back a month and a half, two months ago. I don't... I didn't understand how I had fallen so far. because a year ago I was so in love with life and with myself. And with other people. I feel, and I feel like every day I lose more of that. And you just get more twisted and more angry, and more hopeless and more loveless and more cynical. But I don't want to be that way. don't want to be that way and I think there's gonna be a tendency of people that watch this video to say oh she's suicidal and depressed because she's transgender she's another sadistic obviously transition is not good for you fuck off that is not what this is about I am so happy with my transition and with who with my gender this has nothing to do with that whatsoever it's not even that I'm being treated badly because I'm transgender that is this this has nothing to do with it it is like its own separate weird ball of shit oh my god I'm disgusted whatever it's not a pretty moment you're gonna deal with my nose running it's fine I'm at a place in my life where I own a business, I'm making money. And it's not excessive, but it's, I'm very comfortable. You know, I have the ability to be very comfortable and to make other people's lives better with that income. And instead I spend it on vices, on food, on clothes, on things that I think are gonna make me happy because in the short term, it gives me this little rush of like, I have a thing, but I hate things. I hate having things. I say that all the time. I throw things away every day. I'm like, I don't want this, get it out of here. And so I keep on buying these things to shove inside of that fucking emptiness. And then it doesn't quite fit. It's like putting a triangle into a square shaped hole. And so I just pull it back out and throw it away and find another triangle to stick in there. It's never gonna work. And I'm wasting money and I'm wasting time and I'm wasting opportunity and I'm wasting potential and that I feel like should be enough for me to snap out of this shit but it it doesn't seem to be I I don't understand why I'm still here
I've been like this for almost a year and I've been dealing with this suicidal bullshit for like three months and I haven't tried anything and I don't think I will but just I feel like I'm already dead like I don't feel like I exist in this world I don't feel like I'm a part of it I don't feel like I belong here I don't feel like I don't feel like I'm wanted which is bullshit I know that I know people like me consciously I know this but every time I meet somebody or every time I'm done an interaction I'm like oh they secretly hate me and I'm an annoyance and I'm a nuisance and I'm a bother and I have no value and when I get cool opportunities like working with incredible high profile makeup brands to be in a campaign for example hypothetically at first I'm like okay I deserve this I've earned this they want me because I am who I am and that is a unique thing and that is valuable and then a day later I'm like they pity me they gave me this because I don't know because they want to slap a sticker on me and make me feel better but that's not why would they do that that's so outside of their interest <sighs> here's what I want I want to feel something organically not drug induced okay I want to be able to sit down and work for more than 10 minutes at a fucking time I want to crave success again I want to crave that do I want to crave that action what is that what is that feeling I don't know what it is that need to do something what is that I don't know what that is I haven't felt that in so fucking long pressure um responsibility what is that feeling I don't know what that feeling is anyway I don't want you to worry about me in a mortal sense I'm not I'm not gonna hurt myself and I guess I just wanted you guys to know that I still care about you. Because I've been gone for so long, I feel like I've been neglecting you. And even my friends in this physical world, I neglect them. I push them away and then I sit there and wonder why I feel so alone. So stupid. And then I feel like I'm a bad person for manipulating people into thinking I'm a good person. <laughs> and you being friendly and kind one day because I genuinely enjoy their company and then the next day not returning a text because I can't fathom giving anybody attention. And it's not a personal thing, it's not them. It's not that specific person because I do it to 30 people a day. I do it to my own fucking mother. And then I sit in my house for three days without leaving, sitting. Literally, I barely even stand up. And I live in one of the coolest cities in the world. And I live near a beautiful park where I could walk my dog. And I live near an island where I could just take a ferry for three fucking dollars and spend the day by a coast surrounded by sand and nature. And I just sit here in this box that I've spent money on thinking that's going to make me happy. And it doesn't. Please hold for the next available team member. Good afternoon, Family Health, Tim Amanda speaking. Hi there. Um, I don't really know <laughs> how to mm -hmm. figure this out, but I, I used to go to somebody at for therapy sessions, um, uh -huh. and I was hoping to restart those, but I don't know how to go about that. 
Okay. Um, what's your last name? We have tomorrow. We have Wednesday. Thursday. Um. We even have like Wednesday. He's doing evening, so he has at five or five fifteen. Let's let's do. Can we do like um, like five? Five on Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this Wednesday at five for you. Okay. Can you just remind me the address of of his yeah. office? Yes. Okay, thank you very much. I'll be there. Okay, you're you're welcome. Take care. Thank you. (sighs) Bye-bye. You know how long I've been putting off calling that number? Like four months. And it took me literally three minutes and 11 seconds to book myself an appointment with my doctor to get a referral to a therapist. I'm going to try to figure this out because I want to be what you guys need me to be and what you guys, I mean, maybe not what you want me to be, but (laughs) because I don't want to be anything other than what I want to be. This is me committing to recovery right now from wherever the fuck this is. I don't want to, I don't want to think these things anymore and I don't want to I would say I don't want to feel this way, but I don't feel any way. I don't feel, and I don't want to be like that. It's not a good existence because there can be anything and everything that could make you happy right in front of your face. And if you don't feel anything, those things won't do anything for you. You won't feel happy. You won't want them. You won't do anything with them. And I'm so scared of slipping into a place where I do that for so long that I have nothing left, you know? I neglect work and friends and people for so long that I have nothing left that I am truly alone. And if I feel alone right now, imagine what the fuck I'd feel like if I actually had nothing. I don't want to get to that place. I'm so scared of getting to that place. (sighs) This has been helpful. I feel better. I feel... I don't feel. (laughs) I physically feel a bit lighter. I don't know. I'm going to go try to do some work. I love you so much. Have a good day. Be careful. Be nice to yourself. And if you are in the same situation that I'm in, let's get out of this together. Let's do our best. I just don't want to, I don't want to be like this anymore. Bye. The fuck.